Hey there, someone recently asked me the question in my how to add captions video on DaVinci, how do you import SRT files into DaVinci Resolve? It's actually pretty quick and easy to do, and I will show you how to do that now. Okay, I've got a recent video that I did, and I just want to add subtitles to it. So a quick way that I got subtitles, which is also called out in another video of mine, how to edit captions in YouTube, so basically what you can do is you can go into YouTube and you can go into the um, subtitles and you can actually download the SRT files from YouTube. They're not necessarily going to be an exact match because it's the system and, you know, they're better paid services. But since this one's free, it's a good way to do it to get an SRT file. So anyway, so I downloaded the SRT file and it's currently in my download folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into DaVinci Resolve. You can also right click import if you want. Next thing I'm going to do is down on the project, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go add subtitle track. You'll see I've got SD1 here now. Take that subtitle SRT file and just drag and drop it down onto that track. And notice now I've got text showing on the screen. And that's pretty much all there is to it. From here, you can then tweak and change it as you want. If you click on it, notice now we have uh, captions and track style options to where we can tweak the text if we need to. So you'll need to play it back, listen, and make sure it matches where you want. You can adjust where it comes in and goes out at. And notice what it did there. When I upped that, it just adjusted where it is. You can also change your track style. So notice with mine, that white text on here is kind of a little difficult to see. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to go down to backdrop, to background, click on that. And I'm going to add a bit of like a dark background to it. So notice that makes it a little easier to read. Okay, now that I've got that background, looking like I want it. You can play with this more if you want. I'm going to also drop the height of everything just a little bit because there's all this space underneath it. I'm just going to go up, go to transform, and I'm going to just do a, adjust that position a little bit and notice it drops it down. You can play with it a whole lot more from here if you want, color, textile, all that, but I'm not going to show you that. You can watch my other video on that if you really want to see how to do that or um, I'd say it's actually pretty easy to figure out if you just play with it a little bit. As always, hope you found that useful. Have a good day.